This looks like circular geometry, but it's really just Pythagoras. Okay, the trick to this problem is moving the radius round to here and recognizing that what we then have is a very simple Pythagoras problem. So if I draw that in there, we have a radius or a hypotenuse of 5. And if I label both of these sides because they're identical as a, then we can see that a squared plus b squared is c squared. So 2a squared equals 5 squared, which is 25. So a is equal to 5 over root 2. But the width of the square, the side the length of the side of the square is twice a. So that is 2 times 5, or 10, over root 2. That's the full side length of the square here. And if we want the area of the square, that's the side length squared. So it's 10 over root 2, all squared, which is equal to the square top and bottom. 100 over root 2 squared, which is just 2, 100 over 2, which is just 50.